Hey guys, so which should be your second paper with GATE civil engineering? So that is what we will be talking about in this video. So as all of you know, GATE 2022 registration has started. And before I start this video, I want to tell you one thing. It is absolutely fine to write just one paper. It is not at all compulsory to write two papers. Many of the students are calling and having this doubt. So I'm clarifying on that. It is totally fine if you are writing only civil or it is totally fine if you are writing only environmental science. But if you want to increase your chances and write two papers, then what you can choose? Let's say gate civil is your primary paper. What is the other choice you can have? So let's directly jump into the video. So first let us see what are the different paper combinations you can write. As you can see here from the gate official website, they have given all the paper codes allowed for the second paper so if you see along with civil engineering what all you can write with civil engineering you can write aerospace architecture environmental science geomatics naval architecture and marine engineering and also engineering sciences so as you can see from here es was one of the papers which was introduced last year on environmental science and geomatics and naval architecture is something which was introduced this year so you can choose from either of this six papers or you can just choose to write civil alone okay so let's say you want to write uh, two papers so there are two things how you can choose the second paper one is obviously based on your interest so if you're highly interested let's say in agriculture or in environmental science or if you you want to like get into geomatics then you can just directly go ahead and choose the second paper there is a no brainer but the second thing second thing if you have no particular choice or if you are still confused so if you are still confused what you can do is you can try and match the syllabus see the syllabus of each and every paper and find out if you can even complete the syllabus and how you are feeling about the and how you are feeling about those subjects do you even have any interest in them can you complete them because without completing the syllabus there is no point at least you should be able to cover a significant portion of the second paper syllabus so let us just see like how the how we can do the syllabus matching syllabus matching i mean let's take so what i will do is i'll go to the syllabus here you can see the syllabus i'm opening civil engineering syllabus also opening aerospace then there is architecture and planning geomatics environmental science naval architecture and this engineering sciences So I think many of you are already well versed with the civil engineering syllabus. So let's for example, let's take aerospace, In aerospace. So here they have mentioned the topic have been divided into core topics and special topics. So here it's mentioned whether it's a core topic or a special topic. So anyway, so linear algebra calculus differential equation, I think maths is more or less similar. To what you have in civil engineering but now comes the new parts like flight mechanics space dynamics aero aerodynamics in aerodynamics you would have read a little bit in fluid mechanics is basic fluid mechanics but you will have to read a little more on potential flow theory and all this more on fluid mechanics is a specialized topics which you may have to read in structures if you see the first part is similar like you have SOM, strength of materials, but again you have something detailed like flight vehicle structure, structural dynamics. Then you have a little more which is towards mechanical engineering, you read all about propulsion. So this is what the syllabus is, if you see there is a comparatively less matching syllabus, like you, you can see about like obviously maths and aptitude is matching so that itself comes to about 20% or so and you have 10 more percent which is matching but you have to read a lot of new things so if you are really interested in aerospace then you can go for it 
so if you see architecture and planning part a is common syllabus and out of part b you can choose either one of it you can either choose architecture or planning so let us just see what is uh, what is similar so section one is not similar section two is more or less similar you have project management techniques like word cpm there is a little more extra then if you see in service and infrastructure we do have a lot of matching syllabus like storm water drainage system sewage disposal method design of roads intersections like at least 60 70 percent is similar then if you see part b2 planning so here you can see like you have here you have something similar to like gas and remote sensing and then you have infrastructure planning which is similar to your transportation engineering you have traffic engineering road capacity so little bit of matching syllabus is there but there's a lot more new to read as well so if you are really interested in architecture and planning you can go for it then let's come to the new paper geomatics engineering we have discussed this in detail what is the benefit of giving this paper in another video you can go ahead and check it out we have also launched a course for the same you can check that out all the links are in the description so coming to what is matching so uh, in this one thing to note here is out of part b you have to choose only one of the sections as a civil engineer section one is more closer to what you have studied so let's say there are seven sections so in this you would have read here and there about remote sensing gas maps if not completely and this surveying and photogrammetry you would have read it. again in photogrammetry the first line is something you would have read but the second third line of the syllabus you might not have read so this is fairly matching if not entirely but it's totally based on your interest if you're really interested in remote sensing and stuff all these topics become slightly easier for you to read and you can quickly finish it off so there are about seven sections i would say about three sections are matching for you and the rest of it, if you have interest, they are fairly easy to read about it. And coming to environmental science. So this was something which was introduced last year. We have a dedicated test series for it. You can go ahead and check it out and also a course. Okay. So when we see it, what is matching? So there are how many sections are there? Nine sections are there. So out of this first section is almost completely matching. This environmental chemistry is something you would have read in your school, so you can say a little bit it's matching and the same goes for microbiology, but a lot more details will be here. Then this is completely matching with civil engineering. You have hydrology and you have fluid mechanics and, uh, and you have fluid mechanics. And this also you have like the, all the first three sections are matching. Then air and noise pollution you would have read in a basic way, but here there are more details. And again, you have solid and hazardous waste management, which you would have read, but little more detail is here. And these two are completely theoretical, and you would have read a lot about these things in school, especially about greenhouse gases, global warming, and stuff. Okay, so I would say how much is matching? So there are nine sections. Out of nine sections, I would say one, two, three. Four. about four sections are matching and out of the other five you would have read at least two sections in school more or less so you have a few more extra to read if you can finish that off you can go for this paper and coming to naval architecture and marine engineering so in this match you can see is slightly like more or less matching you have probably a little bit extra and you have your structural engineering like SOM and engineering mechanics but you have a little more here in machine design and you have fluid mechanics almost entirely but a little more detail and the main topic is naval architecture and ocean engineering which i think none is matching and it's a pretty detailed syllabus and you have thermodynamics and marine engineering which is also pretty much detailed so i would say very less sections are matching in this but if you're really interested in going into this side of it, you can go ahead for this paper. And if and you can also go for some other combination, like let's say you're writing environmental sciences primary paper, you can go for agriculture or even geomatics as your second paper. There's no harm in it. So it up, it's up to you what you want to do. 
so primary paper is the one which you are really targeting and you want it for sure and second secondary paper is when you can complete the syllabus and it can give you more chances for clearing in gate so that is the idea and so you can just check the syllabus and see if you can finish it and then choose your paper i'm putting all the important links in the description and we have test series for civil and environmental science and a course for geomatics so this is one way where we can help you out and we will try to bring in more free tests also thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions about choosing the second paper you can let me know in the comment section